I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Jocon. My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll know that... Yeah, whatever. All right. Anyway... and you should be well recovered. But... I may be expected. How much? Can I buy anything else? Probably not. No, I don't think so. Point seems genuine. Just do one more mission or whatever. I think this is the Codex Pages one, if I remember correctly. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. Uh, a change of plans. Learn about the villa, discover... Oh, yes. Yep, I thought so. The Pazzi answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yeah. Yes. And he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must... ...stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. Looks All right. Different That's that. enough grim talk for one night. Right. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mr. Francesco. I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your I assessment. Read that, There's also another seeker in this room, but you'll see that in a different game, though. So it won't be for a long time. Because it'll probably take me at least 
20 Look plus familiar? hours to beat the game. On their codex pages. Yes, your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Alright, I'll do that then. I guess I can't do that. Eh, whatever. Oh, I gotta... I've already done this though. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done it. Or the wall. I think the other one's outside the village, right? Right? No? Oh, well, we'll just go here anyway, though. Because we gotta come back. <laughs> Whatever's on his mind is not. Oh, there is a horse, wow. Every game, there's always problems with riding horses. Even Metal Gear Solid 5, the game, game. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but especially if you're in trucks or vehicle. Yeah, the big trucks. Yeah, you can't take. I didn't really mean to tell that much up there, but okay. I never noticed that. There. 
But like in trucks, the horses will like spawn or teleport into trucks. At least on the PC version. I, the console version might do that. I don't know. That's uh, mainly the really bad glitches in Phantom Pain, but it's kind of funny at the same time. There goes my dog again. Did we go back? Oh, okay, yeah, we did. Mission complete. Good. Chest is like making me a glitch. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. Wow. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Alright, whatever. Huh? Okay. Oh, this motherfucker right here. Come on. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. <laughs> Pretty close. And if someone brought you money, eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Oh, look. Uncle! Oh, I that. like this architetto. He wow. gets very observant when he can smell money. Oh, if you want to look, fix look, up this town, like I'm going to need so it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. <laughs> Just bring me gold, <laughs> make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. I never noticed as for renovations, well... You'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Set it. Make a bank. Do that. Better, I'll just keep going. Oh, I don't have enough. Let's get a blacksmith. I don't have enough money. Oh, I probably don't. Buon viaggio! Yay! Wait. Oh, okay. Stop! Ezio, my boy, I think it's time I showed you something. Oh, or maybe you do see it in this game. I was, I was wrong. I actually forgot about this. I don't know how I forgot, but I did. Come 
one. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to I'm honor the memory of the Assassin oh. Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Maybe we will. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Well, I'm actually not going to 100% it, but I'm still going to get the armor. Just because it's going to help a lot. I've actually never beat the game without the armor. Oh, jeez. Yes. Just climb the air, will you? Come on, calm down. Stop that, Ezio. Calm yourself. Why would you say expensive? But my goods are worth the extra quadri. You should feel better. You should be nice to your friends, Signor Emilio. They're not even my friends. You are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one. How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh, it seems oh. to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Wait, what? I don't know why they translate that, but... Practice what you... Preach. Practice several new tech... Yeah. 
assassination techniques while Leonardo will teach. Okay. Jeez, I can't even read. Okay, so. Where's your viewpoint? There's no viewpoint. Come on! Oh, got a. He should be done. Oh, it's just gonna keep going, White. Okay, whatever. What were you doing by his front door? That's what I want to know. I've done it. Oh, it come quickly. Just appear Look. there. No. Transitioning Take it. Just... Try it. Take it. Try it. We will. Thank you, Leonardo. Right, non c'è di che. I don't know why it's sounding like that. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Apisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Start then, tu amico. Chases too, those aren't really racist though. What would make a man for Ah, of course. Oh, of course, that's why he would do that to get the fat up. That's why he would do that. Oh, yeah. Now, clearly. Clearly. Oh, there's a poster thing, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to get that. Oh, that's why, that's why they want to do that. San Noah, Cariano, but I am Cariano. He's gone mad. He's gone mad. Fuck, son, look at him. The boy, or whatever. There's actually, I don't know. Yeah, some of the places in Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed. Go away. Okay, you want some money? Actually. Okay, fine. Oh, nice. Nice. hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? 
<laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Well, that seems ah, good. yes. That's wrong with all the <laughs> Here is your money. <coughs> Okay, uh, we'll do this, and then we'll start the mission. Actually, no, we won't, because I really don't want to, like, actually, um, start, start off with a cliffhanger. Yeah, technically, there's no, there's a little cliffhanger, but, but I mean, like, a cliffhanger, cliffhanger, I don't want to. So, we're going to end here. My timer's gonna go off any minute now. So, actually, hold on. Oh, oh wow. Come on, the game saves, right? No, it's not gonna save. Oh, whatever. Um, yes, so that's gonna be it for this time of KC2. I hope you have enjoyed as much as I've enjoyed playing this. Uh, tomorrow night, it's not gonna really. If you're watching this on YouTube, this. Isn't going to really matter, but just basically saying I'm going to stream tomorrow night, and once this is on YouTube, chances are I probably already streamed. Um, we're going to throw this guy down here to freak people out. There's not very many people there. And, yeah. Um, yeah, but anyway, oh, shit. Gotta whack someone just because. Alright, well, let's not do that anymore. Um, yeah, see you, mates.